What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. This is Web Dev Journey and today we're going to be starting or this is going to be an introduction of our brand new series, AWS, Amazon Web Services. Now, I'm pretty sure you've already messed around with, you know, Amazon Web Services or even Google's or just another server outside, you know, just a third party thing. But the reason why I chose AWS and why I'm doing a video about it. No, I'm not an expert at this by any means, but I do mess around with it a lot in my job. So might as well just do a video and just teach you guys what I actually know. Now, AWS or Amazon Web Services has a lot of pieces to it and it can be hard to figure out just where to get started. For instance, if you look at this diagram or reference architect for hosting Word WordPress, You'll see clouds and tons of colored squares and some funky looking orange pole that looks like a Wing Chun dummy. <laughs> I'm not too sure. It's just complete madness, right? But in reality, there's actual several ways to run an application like WordPress from within AWS. And not every application will need to go with an architecture that is this extreme. So when you're actually first starting out with AWS, Think of your AWS account like a Starship, all right? It could be lean and fast like the Millennial Falcon, and it only uses a few WS services and can easily be run by one or two people, you know? Or your AWS account might be like the Starship Enterprise with many different decks and hundreds of rooms trying tying together a multitude of AWS services while being commanded by several engineering, science, and security teams. Now, if you didn't know, Amazon Web Services has over 100 different services, and it just seems like they're adding more and more each year. Honestly, they, it, it really does feel like that sometimes. Now, don't worry. Obviously, you're not going to be an expert in every service. I'm not. I'm for sure as hell not. So... I mean, check this out. They even have an an AWS ground station for helping you communicate with your fleet of satellites in orbit. <laughs> now, I don't have satellites in orbit, but if I ever run into a situation where I need to download data from satellites, I know that AWS has a service for that. And at that time, I'll just read the documentation and start looking for some other courses, you know, or other documentations and just get more information about how ground station works, right? But at least I know they have that service. So, and that's exactly how you're going to be able to walk around your AWS Starship as well, you know, reading docs, looking at the blueprint. So once you have identified a potential need for it for an AWS service that you haven't used yet, you'll walk into that unused room of your Starship, turn up, turn on all the lights and start twirling knobs and dials and then explore different courses that's going to take you deeper into how to actually use that service when developing for your application. So it's important that you start learning what kinds of services AWS offers, what AWS has named that service and the architecture icon for that service. You'll find, you'll find in the documentation, blogs and other courses. Okay, fine. So why are we even doing this? As an example, let's say that your mobile application has a feature that lets your, your users upload video taken from a job site. You could install some open source tool, tools directly f onto some AWS server and build a background job that processes these videos into different sizes and formats. Or you could have just used Elastic Transcoder. Now, that's another service that they have right here. And this would be way cheaper, more scalable, and easier to use and save yourself a ton of time and money. You just need to know that Elastic Transcoder processes videos and when you have a potential need for it, look up its pricing, figure out how it works, you know, which might include reading a few architecture diagrams and then determine if it's right for your project or not. Once again, you aren't going to use every service that AWS offers, but you should know that those services can do for you so that when you're building your application, you can use the right tool for the right job. Oh, by the way, and to make things a little more, a little bit more interesting for you, AWS has published new versions of the architecture icons. 
this is going to be, get a little bit confusing once you're reading diagrams. For example, over here, this wooden nunchuck or this wooden Wing Chun, you know, dummy that has a new icon now. That actually now is this icon, Route 53. It makes more, much more sense. But yeah, so when you're reading diagrams, you might stumble upon different icons for the same exact thing. This is the exact, ex exactly the same thing, Route 53 as this right here, Amazon Route 53. See that? And by the way, uh, Route 53 is for DNS records and we'll get into that in a later video, so don't worry about it. But before we start diving into a bunch of AWS services, we're going to cover some key security concepts that you're going to see come up again and again in various AWS services. And I'm going to show you how to safely use your AWS Starship for the first time so you don't, you know, crash it in the side of a planet. Then we're going to start from the bottom, uh, the bottom of the Starship over here in our Starship Enterprise in the engine room right there. Now, if you don't see Star, this is Star Trek, by the way, it's, it's a great series. I mean, you should, yeah, I know it's just geeking out or nerding out a bit. So anyway, starting from our engine room where, where we're going to get our hands dirty with some servers and some storage options and go through some cloud networking concepts. From there, we're going to move up to the nicer decks up here where AWS has done all the work of managing servers and databases and look at the various tools they have for quickly deploying our code um, or helping your, you quickly develop a mobile application or leverage machine learning in your application for text recognition or voice detection. Along the way, you'll encounter several terms that you might have heard related to cloud computing, such as infrastructure as a service, big data, and serverless architecture. Don't worry about those things. We will break them out in, a, in, other, in other videos. But for right now, I just wanted you to know what we're going to be doing or what we're going to be, you know, what this series is going to be about. Now that I spent, I don't know how many minutes telling you about uh, AWS and the, I guess you could say course or the uh, series objectives, we're going to be, I'm going to tell you exactly where we're going to be uh, learning in this. So we're going to be learning IAAS, Compute, Storage, and Networking. So if you don't know what IAAS is, it literally stands for Infrastructure as a Service. So Infrastructure as a Service, Compute, Storage, and Networking. Then we're going to get on to um, Databases as a Service, DBAAS. And then Platform as a Service, PAAS. Software as a Service, SAAS. I'm pretty sure you've heard that one a lot in your work. I'm not too sure. And then we're going to also get with DevOps with AWS and security on AWS. But like I said, I'm not an expert on this. I do mess around a lot in it, but I'm no expert by means. <laughs> but those are the things we're going to be learning in this series. So, you know, if you like it, stay tuned. I hope you do. I mean, I hope the series gets the traction. I'm not too sure, you know. So thanks guys for watching and um, hope. You feel good about this. You know, this is another series. It's going to take a, a while, you know. So I hope you feel good about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like the video if you think this is actually a good idea. Or if you're like, oh, hell, this is going to be stupid. Dislike it and I'll, I'll consider doing another video. And comment down below, like I said, if you actually like it or if you have an idea of another video, uh, comment down below. But if no one has it and I already post up another video, don't even don't even comment. I'm I'm not, I've already done it. I've already went to the extra length of making the other video, so I'm not turning back now. So thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.